We're back here for the PGL Major Antwerp and we're doing some more lunch with Banks where I get to sit down, chill with some of these guys, chat and enjoy everything about our beautiful game of Counter-Strike. I'm starting with my boy Rigon, Bad News Eagles. Eagles. Rocking it from start to finish, already won its opening game. We're gonna have a chill chat, but first of all, mate, we're gonna grab some food. Now, you look like you'd be a healthy guy. Are you a, he are you, are you a healthy guy? <laughs> no, I'm not. Not a healthy I'm guy. Definitely <laughs> not. I'm definitely not. I just eat whatever I can. But... Whatever you can. But I'm not getting. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm I, I not need getting... the skill. I need I'm the skill. Not... <laughs> I'm not getting getting any kilograms. No chance. Okay, we got some pork. We got some chicken. Oh, okay. I'm gonna start with the Yeah, I'm gonna take some chicken. Yeah, as well, I think, this. See, for me, right, what did you, do you ever think about like what you eat before you play? No, never. Never? Never. You just go I like a, I like a lot of caffeine before I play. Okay. Because it, I don't know. It, you want to get the energy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you. But sometimes it's too much as well, so I start shaking, you know? <laughs> You've had too no, much. I'm serious, so. So that's why you guys look hype all the time, yeah? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> now we are like, first of all, Danes are yeah. from nature. They have a lot of energy already, you know? So, that's what you got. Have you some of this as well, yeah, the beef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got a chicken and cheese toast. All right, cool. I'm actually quite happy with the food. I'll take this. This is a this is a positive. Let's see. Right, anything else you want? Pasta, gluten-free stuff. Now there's a dessert, but I'm not having the dessert. Nah. You might have the dessert. I'm just giving the dessert. Nah. <laughs> right. So, thank you very much, sir. Thank you too. Right, I'm gonna pour your water because you know you're like on this elite level now. Oh, you know? <laughs> stop with this, please. We got we got to be looking after the. I'm the future. still down on earth. <laughs> no, because that's what I like about you guys, right? You have kept it the same. Yeah. You're still the same as when I first met you guys. All happy, hungry. But the first thing I want to start with on here, right, mm -hmm. is you're obviously Swiss representative. You've got it on your shirt, but your family come from Kosovo, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So. In terms of that, what was it growing up for you like in Switzerland? How was life? How was the early life? I mean, the life in Switzerland is the same like, for example, like in London. Okay. You have like, you have more structure in Switzerland than yep. in Kosovo, like you have school. Like, I went to school. I like, the funniest part of me is because I have two parts. I have one Albanian part, one Swiss part. And the Swiss part is yeah. more educated and yeah, you know, yeah, know yeah. more people. And, and the Albanian part is like, a bit toxic. And, <laughs> look at people angry and stuff like this so yeah i mean raising in switzerland helped me a lot i think yeah in financial and mental because you get you get more educated than in kosovo i guess so yeah and in terms of your family right so you said like swiss albanian kosovo in there so both uh, or one swiss or how's the split work uh no both of my parents are from kosovo really both. okay yeah. okay but uh they came early in Switzerland, like since 30 years already. So, oh, wow. Yeah. And brothers, sisters, anything like that? I have a married brother. Ooh. He has a son, he's uh, three years old, I think. Okay, <laughs> I, don't nice age. I don't have much time to, to play with my brother's son because yeah. I'm practicing all day. And, That's yeah. what it's like. That's what it's like. Now, when we're looking at your career, mm -hmm. what made you get into CS? When did you start playing? I played 1.6. Good man, there we go. That's I what played 1.6, like. but back then it was harder to play because I had only one PC, my brother and me. Uh -huh. So when my brother went to school or to work, I used to go on his PC. And then back in 2012, I played League of Legends because uh, there was no. It was CSGO went out in 2012, I think. Mm -hmm. But I didn't play, so I started CSGO at 2015. And yeah. What attracted you to going to CSGO? Like what made you maybe not go the League of Legends route? Um, I think I played CS all the, like earlier as well. Yeah. So I had the talent in CS as, already. So I started with CSGO and just looked how, it, how it's gonna go, you know? So I qualified for FPLC and from then it just went up like the rocket. Now, what's interesting for me, right, is Switzerland doesn't have a big scene. We've got Maniac, we've got you, yeah. But like also for Kosovo, we don't have a huge scene, right? There's a lot of people playing, I know, but like when we're looking at the elite. So how did you understand which route you were going to take? Like you just mentioned FPL. If it wasn't for FPL, like there probably would have been no team or anything yeah, like that, exactly. right? So I played with those guys in secret as well, right? Yeah. So um, in that time I was in school still, so I... In Switzerland, it's kind of hard to uh, go full-time CS because you need to earn money to live, you know? 
It's 100%. the same like in, in uh, London or what, wherever. So I qualified for FPLC. From FPLC, I qualified them for FPL. Mm -hmm. And then I finished my school back then. And uh, from there on, I played with Secret and I left because school, blah, blah, blah. And uh, after that, I played some cash cups with Lova. You probably know Lova. Oh, yes. <laughs> so from there, it went a bit up and like I was talented. Like teams wanted me, but I wanted the right. I was in contact gaming as well, but yeah. I just felt like it was not the right choice because it was a sinking ship already. So I played just mix and then uh, Blink contacted me, I joined Blink and from there on we just practiced and we wanted to win together and achieve something. We are friends outside of the game as well, you know, yeah, so we are really that. close, we are really close to each other so I think that helps us a lot and it helps that if we have problems with each other, mm. we can say it straight into the face. Maybe it's not the same in other uh, teams, you know, which yeah. they need to hide. But your it. culture is quite like that as well, right? Like you guys can be quite direct with each other without yeah. too much of an yeah. issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our, our, we, may, we make a lot of fun of our coach because he's from Albania, you know, and he has another accent than us. Yeah. So we make a lot of fun of him. And, uh, so he's the bullied one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly, bro. And, 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 and he's like, and he's like guys, come on. Focus on practice, come on guys, and we are like... Because <laughs> <laughs> it's... Uh, man. Too much laughter, yeah. too much fun with it. Okay, so let's let's look at this time. When you mentioned like secret, right? Obviously you want to go back to study and then contact. You already knew it wasn't the thing you were going to do. But at that point, did you ever consider like, maybe I'll stop playing? Maybe I'll just go get a job or, or whatever? Uh, the most pressure I've had is from my dad and my mother. Okay. Because in... In Switzerland, you just need to educate, you know, and yeah. you need a higher school to live good, to, to make a good life. So I was always fighting with my mom and dad, and I was like, please let me play, please. I'll trust me, I will do something maybe one day. And they were like, okay, okay. So today I'm proud mm. that I didn't do much, but I did a start. I did a start, so I'm proud and uh, yeah, what was the question again? Because I forgot Just it. Just like, did you ever think you were going to quit and like, uh, go get a normal job? No, I never wanted to quit because if I start something, I'm going to end it. So nice. I have this mindset. So once you qualify for the major, right? What did your parents say then? Was that like the, okay, you've done it point? Like my father was more supportive, but my mother was like... Interesting, normally it's the other way around. <laughs> no, my father was more supportive actually, because okay. of my brother as well, because my brother played as well, so he, he told him. him, you know, but yeah. my mother was not. So when they sent me the, they sent me a video on WhatsApp with my brother's little son, when we won the major and when I saw my mom watching it, so I, I knew they were a bit of proud, you know, and when they saw me as well with the Prime Minister of Kosovo, so... I'm glad. I'm glad, thanks. <laughs> so let's talk about this, right? Blink. We had the situation where you joined the guys from Blink. They obviously asked you, but how did you feel? Because you'd obviously, I know you can speak the language, obviously, because you're communicating it. You'd always been on like international teams. Mm -hmm. Did you think it was maybe a risk going to like a nationality based team? Because obviously these are good players, mm -hmm. but we didn't know much about them where you might have had offers from international teams and stuff. Mm -hmm. So how was it for you during that time? So first of all, my first team was a German team, right? So, mm -hmm. can you what? speak German as well? Of course, <laughs> you can do everything. Of everything. course, yeah, I can speak Swiss. German. You I can speak a bit. Of, I can speak a bit of French as well because I okay. learned it in school. So, when I joined a German team, I left it. Then after, it was because of school as well. But mm. that time, I qualified for SPLC. So, I just thought in my mind, like, I think it's better to join an international team than a German team because. And no, the German scene is always the same, you know, except yeah. of big. The rest is always playing national leagues and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to go international. But back to the point, I was, I was pretty sure when I joined these guys, my team right now, Ben News Eagles and Blink before, mm. I was pretty sure that we're going to achieve something because we are all eager. And those people, they gave the live and internet coffee, you know, my team, yeah. they gave the live and I, I knew like we we're gonna do something and I think we're gonna do it even more. We just need more experience, so yeah. Nice, nice. 
Now the situation, you join Blink, right? And then you guys try to have a contract renegotiation. It doesn't go well, they don't agree to it. At that point, you decide to just form Bad News Eagles. Now, I guess you were just memeing on Bad News Bears, the American team at that point, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I think it was, yeah. <laughs> I don't even have a clue how we get this name. I just was like, just, just do something, you know? Cool. But at that point though, right? So you've got no salary coming in. Mm -hmm. You're completely on your own. What were you guys thinking? Because this is also the time where you were having more success on these cups, right? We were seeing you make deeper runs. You were seeing some early success, at least on the events where most teams are really struggling. Because I look at the scene that you were in before you qualified for the major, mm -hmm. and this was like, it's the hardest to get out of. Because these teams are hella competitive. You're playing so much the same teams, but you guys broke through. So what was this period like? How do you, because you, you motivated, I guess, because you had no salary. You wanted an org. Yeah, so go on, talk to me. The main reason was like when when we cancelled, like when Blink cancelled us and we cancelled Blink, and it was like a tough situation. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk details to it, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. But uh, we gained so much energy and power to show to show them like what they've lost and uh, what 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 we can do. So yeah. we had no salary, we had no support, we had nothing. Really, we had zero. Mm. So then but we tried, um, they had still contract, Flutter, and they all had contract except of me and Sanary. So they needed to go out first of the contract. Wow. We had to wait. Thanks God they terminated it. Okay, so that's kind of nice, right? That was a bit of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was. A it degree. Was, it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> so now we just found it, Bad News, not found it, but we created and... Uh, Thanks God we have Giraffe 50 because yeah. they they really helped us and uh, yeah they helped us with the bootcamp they have helped us a bit not too much but financially you know so we can come here and yeah. buy some stuff or whatever so yeah and this one came on just before the RMR right yeah no it was actually after the RMR ah, okay. <laughs> uh, it was after the RMR and uh, but the most Nice thing is that a fan of us, like, he gave us the house. He has a big house. That's he ridiculous. was like, guys, come. We wanted to pay the house, you know? So everybody wanted to pay like yeah. 300 euros or maybe so we can stay now. But he was like, no. And he just gave go. it to you? He just gave it and to so us. And so did you know this guy before or anything? Just, or was he just a fan or like, Not explain me. this Fl crazy situation? Flatro knew him. Flatro okay. and GX knew him, but I never knew him. So he was a regular fan. And yeah. then we asked the guy, yo, can you find us a house? And he's going to this guy and saying, yo, we, we need a house. And he's like, but why you didn't tell me about this? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we stayed one month in this house and it was And this nice. is what we call Escobar's mansion, yeah? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> but thieves went in 12 times or something, so I was a bit scared in the night, thieves actually. Thieves went in? Yeah, 12 what? times. Oh my God. Okay, how did you even deal with that? Like, uh, I come from a pretty rough back. No, because like, the people started to know that we we live there, you know? Ah, so I'll even say. when we streamed and stuff like this, so people knew we were there, so yeah. no one really came or anything. But I say, some of you guys are pretty strong, you know? I think like you can we push your push right away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, bro. Not me. I'm just running. No, no, no. You, you, you sit there, right? They fight and then you just come behind and just a quick crack off. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> the sneak attack. Okay, so the whole story to this point is pretty wild, right? But we get you to the RMRs, yeah? And like I said, you qualified for like the showdown. Okay, you may have not got through, but things are looking better and better. But when you qualify for the RMR, obviously there's a load of people that believed you, but it was such a close, like, you just think, flat getting them last two kills, just a few bullets oh. left. And I remember this, I get but tears in my eyes. I, I'm, I did like a reaction to the, to the video afterwards. So I saw it live when we were there doing the event. But I did a reaction on TikTok, and even I was like, Flatro, like literally, he saved the day in that pit, you know, because otherwise it's going the other way. And at the beginning of that round, like they got the advantage in it and stuff. Yeah. Like. So for you guys at that moment, obviously you all hyped, we saw the video, saw the excitement. When did it sink in though that you made it and you're going to the major? Was it like an instant feeling or did it take some time? I'm on really honest with you right yeah, now. Yeah. I'm playing right now the major games. I'm still not realizing I'm a, I'm a major. <laughs> I swear. I'm honest. I don't know about, about the other guys, but yeah. when we qualified that day for the major in Romania, I was like in my bed and I started to cry, bro. I swear I started to cry because I didn't really, I made it, you know, I yeah. made it, I'm playing major. So uh, 
we just we just went home back in Kosovo and we talked everything through and uh, I mean it's not that we are a bad team for the major because I heard people saying uh, they don't deserve the major blah 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 but we just need to grow as a team more and um, practice team play but in individually there's like we are really oh, yeah. on another level. Now if you remember right, I was covering the qualifiers for the major. On oh, my own yeah. stream, I just sat there, right? I was with me and Vendetta, and we were just talking. Like, it wasn't even proper commentary. And I remember we got one of your games, and I honestly had Against this... Endpoint, yeah. I lost it. And I had no idea who you guys were, right? So, like, at the point, I knew you, yeah? And I'd heard of Flatro, but then everyone else on the team, I was like, I don't really know these guys. Mm -hmm. So, Vendetta's, like, looking and doing some things. We're watching the game, we're talking. And then loads of people from your country came into the chat. And I mean, they're just telling me, I'm like learning from yeah, Twitch yeah. chat. You know, normally you think Twitch chat's trolling or something's going on. I'm thinking, all right, cool, I'm just going to listen, have a back and forth. And they're like, put some respect to these guys' names. And I'm thinking, I'm watching what you guys were doing. And I was seeing it was like, you had the defaults. Mm -hmm. At times you were a bit like wild and it yeah, just, yeah. someone might push a bit early or someone wants to go for a hunt or a kill. But the aim, like, you were taking fights where I would say, as someone who watches counter I can go, that's a bad thing to do. And yeah. then you were still winning. And I'm like, <laughs> Okay, so this is pretty good, but that's what you're talking about, right? It's the experience that you guys are learning yeah. now because you need to become a bit more structured to take on these bigger right. teams. Yeah, How is. is this development? How hard is that? It's pretty hard because me, especially me, I was a pugger before. Like, yeah. I played FPL a lot. FPL but man, yeah. I didn't play FPL now since two months. If I join FPL, I'm going 520 because I don't know how to play puck silent. Yeah, like, yeah. Game by game, we learn more, you know? because. Against an IP, I don't know if you saw, but we dominated three games on like in you should have every half. Yes, we should have won two of the series. But the thing is the experience and it's the stress because we are still learning. So yeah. I think the process is going good. I think it's going good. And I think as well, I don't know, maybe you don't agree, but it's when you guys get hyped and when you guys are nearly there, it's almost like you get almost there and you want to close out so much yeah. that you push too hard and then it starts to backfire. Do you think mentally sometimes things go like you guys, you're so hyped and then it's like a hit back down and you start to panic? I I saw this as well that people wrote like the mentality like when we are too hyped then we can be full tilt as well. But it's not like this because actually we are never tilt with the team. Like if I'm tilt, I'm most likely tilt with myself because- That's what I'm saying, yeah, because I see you. Yeah, I never see you guys like pointing at each other. No, no, it's never. More, it's more like, why have I done yeah, this kind of exactly, thing? Exactly, yeah. exactly. This is my biggest problem, for example. Okay. I have, this is my biggest problem that... But you're aware of it, this is good. Yes, I'm aware. I'm, but the main reason why, like, I want to win the game so bad, <laughs> so I do so much pressure on myself. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, why did I do this and stuff like this? But as I said, like, but it's good that we don't point each other at the teammates. So, of course. For example, if Synopsy, like, Synopsy died on this Dust 2 game versus Eternal 5 four times, stupid i think and he was like in team speak oh no why did i do this yeah i'm like bro come on it's good it doesn't matter we've been still there so you're trying to pick each other back yeah, up yeah of course. and of course. this is probably because like you said your friends outside of the game and you can talk honestly with each other yes but talk to me about the team you have behind you because i know you got your coach right you got a manager or like but you don't have a mental coach you don't have like all these no. other things that other tier one teams have so what does bad news eagles have at the moment bad news eagles has five players one coach and a man manager. The coach is the manager as well. Oh my God. So, yeah, it's it's a bit of a problem because our coach has to focus on the managing stuff as well, you know? Cool. So he doesn't really have time to coach us to, yep. to make his job. But uh, as I said, we have Giraffe as well and they're trying to help us. And uh, yeah, we'll see after the major if something comes good. Well, hopefully you're getting off after major because you should definitely get past this challenger stage. But what does it feel like right now? You're up 1-0. Does it feel like it's still a dream come true? Are you still hyped? Yeah. Is everyone still like enjoying the moment? I mean, I'm not that hyped, okay. but I'm still a bit nervous when I get into the game. I need like some few rounds, you know, so... But I'm pretty sure we're gonna go to the Legend stage, I'm pretty sure. And maybe even 3-0, maybe, Ooh. maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, I like the confidence, but even outside of the major, What's your like individual dream and your goal right now for like Counter Strike? No. What do you want? It's a hard question. Yes. <laughs> it's a hard question. Like, I ask him. Of course, I want to win 
tournaments, I want to win trophies and then make a good life, have family, have children. Yeah. So it's everyone's dream. But right now I'm 22, I have still time. So I'm just trying to grind CS as much as I can. And let's also talk finally, right, about the support you get from your home country or your not so home country, your national country, right? It's why I get Dude, from both countries the, support. The president of Kosovo was there. Like, how did that, like, he's just watching the game, supporting you guys? Because to me, it seems like football and counter-strike seem to be like on a yeah, similar yeah. level. Yeah, right now it is, right now. That's wild. It, it, before it was like football. Yep. Then a girl came and it was judo. Okay. So she was first, she got Olympic first, and now oh, wow. it's CS, you know, and now it's CS. So it's a great feeling because everything what gives you a little bit of the mm -hmm. support, everything gives you confidence as well in the game, outside of the game, everywhere, you know, so it's great. It's great. And right now for you, Kosovo's home. What, are you staying there because of the boot camp and stuff, or do you still go um, back to Switzerland? No, I'm staying there for boot camp because I have my family in Switzerland, yeah. I'm 22 still, you know, so. I most likely go to Kosovo to boot camps, but the main reason why we had boot camp in Kosovo is because we had no visas. Free. Yeah. We had yeah. no visas. Oh, of course. We had no visas. You're stuck on the 90 days, stuck. right? Stuck. Yeah. You're stuck. Not me, but my team, all of yeah, my teammates are stuck. So it was the main reason why we went to Kosovo to boot camp. And uh, yeah, maybe like they talked as well with the prime minister about the visas and stuff yeah. like this. So. I hope they fix those, those stuff and we can go international somewhere. Nice. Boot camp. It's yeah. Because also you want better ping, you know, and stuff like that. Maybe a better. Setup I mean, the ping things. was good. Yeah, like what you get? ping, yeah. Because oh, that's easy. Then. We had one guy. He fixed, like he fixed some stuff with the internet, and it was it was a good ping. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good ping. You got a good ping. That's yeah. what matters most. That's what matters most. Rigam, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you, man. Thank you very much Thank for you the too, insight. Thanks. It's been a pleasure listening to your story. I wish you the best of luck and thank we'll you, see Max. how it goes at the major, man. Thank you for the interview and yeah, thank you.